Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Sugar Ray Leonard's on his way to the ring. Boy, he looks confident. We've seen it many times with him through the years, but tonight, he's bubbling with confidence. He's coming down to the ring now, and what a nice reception as he is completely focused in on his goal tonight. Okay, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. We had to cut clean, full touch gloves, and let's come out back. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Teddy, you just look at the physical stature of these two guys, and it's clear to see one fighter is much stronger than the other. But if you're the fighter who's not as strong, you still got to go out there and win the fight. How do you do it? Well, first of all, you yell at your manager for making this fight. <laughs> And then the second thing you do is you make sure that you have good shoes on, good track shoes, and you use them. Sugar Ray Leonard's able to avoid that punch. Throws a counter punch there. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. What happened to the get to know you? They're getting to know each other real quick here. Unbelievable. I feel like I'm at a fancy restaurant and we've already had four courses, and the chef came out and said, Hey, don't be full yet. You got eight more to go. Halfway through round number one. Teddy, we hear a lot of people talking about where are the next great fighters coming from? In your eyes, I mean, you're around gyms all over the country, all over the world. Where are they coming from? Well, Joe, I'll tell you where they're not coming from. They're not coming from football anymore. In the old days, the big guys, instead of going on the football field, somebody would look to make them into the next heavyweight champ. But now they're going to college, they're going to places where they find it a little bit of an easier travel. And we're losing a lot of those athletes. You can see that eye starting to swell up. Do you think it takes time for guys to realize the damage that they've taken on? You know what? They feel it right away. They feel something and when it starts getting a little higher, they see it. They see something that's blurring their vision a little bit. Something that wasn't there before. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Wow, look at that, trading shots. Sugar Ray showing defense, able to block that punch. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Beautiful. Nice movement there. Now keep that up. Keep moving. Let's work on that swell. Here we go, round 
two is underway. Wow, is he defensively sound. <laughs> Leonard blocks that punch. Sugar Ray Leonard comes from a Bit of a fighting family. His brother Roger was also a pretty accomplished amateur and a fighter. Yeah, you know, it always helps when you come from a family that was boxing because that means that you're familiar with all the things that you need to be familiar with. You're comfortable in that kind of setting, that it's been part of your life. It's part of your bloodline. He has to be better defensively, Teddy. You can see the damage that his eye has taken. The swelling's getting really bad. How does he do that? How does he shore up that defense? Well, first of all, he's got to stop moving that head. He's standing too straight up. If he gets a little head movement, a lot of those punches that are landed, they'll start going over the shoulder. Halfway through round number two. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. <laughs> Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Had his target in mind, but just missed. Gets rid of that body shot. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Hands of Stone. Seconds to go in this round. A nice block by Hands of Stone. We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counter punch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited, he can pick him off a little bit. Got that? You are in control, so take your time. Take your time. The swelling is nothing. And round number three is underway. Blocks the headshot. Blocks that punch. Blocks that punch. Everybody found so much out about Sugar Ray Leonard on that night back in 1981 when he came up with the 14th round TKO of Tommy the Hitman Hearns. Remember Dundee that night? Remember Angelo Dundee in the corner of Sugar Ray Leonard? Yeah, he said, you're blowing it, kid. And of course, he was right, and he responded to that. Sugar Ray Leonard, in that fight, he had to deal with two fights. You know, early on, he was dealing with Tommy Hearns, this real big guy, this puncher. He had to box a little bit. 
And then later on, Hearns got hurt, started moving. And then Leonard had to be the executioner. He had to all of a sudden go after the guy that he thought he was going to be boxing all night. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Protecting his head well with his guards. Solid counter punch by Hands of Stone. Nice block. Last ten seconds. So the round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas sitting with you ringside. I know you had a very busy week before you flew here out to broadcast this fight, doing your charitable contributions back in Staten Island with the Dr. Theodore Atlas Foundation. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Joe. We did well. We had our dinner, our yearly dinner, where we're able to raise money to help people that are in need, people that have nowhere else to go for help, whether it's a mother that can't pay the cancer treatment for a seven-year-old daughter and we're able to pick up that insurance but the thing that I want to take a second to thank everybody for is that it's a collective effort it's all the people that allow us the resources to go out there and help those people good strong combo A good block. That was off the mark. to improve that accuracy missed with the headshot very accurate work with the hook there after fine fine defense that's straight right unable to connect seconds to go in round number four you know everybody associates Sugar Ray Leonard not only with the championships and the Olympic glory but with the comebacks coming out of retirement to fight he had the detached retina took three years off and then came back against the marvelous one Marvin Hagler in a fight Teddy that to this day people will still argue over who won well Ray won yeah Ray got it I mean that's the main thing you open up the record book and you're gonna see Sugar Ray Leonard as the winner in that fight but what he really did was he created a scenario he understood at that point in his life what he could and couldn't do. He couldn't fight for three minutes. So he survived for early parts. He stayed out of damage, out of harm's way, and he stole ends of rounds. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top.
He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Able to dismiss that body shot. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter punching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. He's showing very good footwork. He's showing fine defensive movement here. But as for the opponent, how do you solve that? Well, you got to make believe you're a football player. You got to make believe you're a linebacker in football. You go down the line with that running back. You don't go follow him around the place. You make sure you move laterally. That's exactly what he's got to do. He's got to cut that ring down, take space away. Very nice defensive guard there. Teddy, is this becoming a mental thing with him? I mean, he's not firing off the big power punches. I got to wonder why. You know, that's a good question. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what to come back at him. And a smart counter punch by Hands of Stone. Halfway into round number five here. Devastating blow by Hands of Stone. Teddy, you know what I'm so impressed by? Obviously, the pace of this fight is just ridiculous. But how hungry these guys are. How badly each guy wants it. Joe, this is the kind of fight that it has nothing to do about money. It has everything to do about legacy. How they're going to be remembered. And a smart counterpunch by Hands of Stone. <laughs> Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Locks it away. Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. They start up again, back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Back, back. Move your head. Yeah, yeah. 
And there he counters back against his opponent. One. Good work by Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. <laughs> A nice crisp hook after a fine defensive effort. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Good block. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Now he's getting into a groove. You can tell he just landed a three-punch combination. Gets rid of that body shot. Able to dismiss it. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. End of the round here as we're ringside at our fight night venue. Of course, we're on the road with you every step of the way with a fine crew. We got to give credit to the crew there, Robbie and Rick back in the production truck doing a nice job all cramped up in a tractor trailer. Yeah, they do a great job. They allow us to go on the air and uh, allow us to do the fun part while they're doing the grunt work. They're doing all the difficult things back there. Of course, Mike, Brian, all those guys. We appreciate you very much, and um, we're not taking you out to dinner tonight. You're gonna take you. <laughs> well, the ability to adapt, so important. Who can make the changes now as we're halfway through this scheduled 12-rounder? <laughs> See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. the headshot. Well placed counter punch by hands of stone. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Oh, very nice. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, with special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. <laughs>
counter that attack. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Good defensive skill with the block by Hands of Stone. Final 10 seconds. Round comes to an end here. An enjoyable night sitting ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. A lot better than our day we spent at the horse track the other day where we couldn't get any winners, at least I couldn't. But uh, we were talking about the fact that so many parallels to be made between boxing and life boxing and all these other sports we enjoy, like horse racing, of being well-conditioned and working your way up to this one singular moment. Yeah, well, the trainer obviously has to get the athlete. In this case, athlete happens to be over 1,000 pounds, and that's a horse. You know, at peak condition, he has to look at a calendar just like a trainer does with a fighter, know when the race is, know when the fight is, and not get used up out on the track or used up, of course, in the gym. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Right hand over the top, he counters back after denying his opponent's shot. <laughs> nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by hands of stone. Good job staying away from the danger there. Good block there by Hands of Stone. Look and counter punch. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Sugar Ray showing defense, able to block that punch. I don't know, Teddy, it just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Nice. He's hurt. I need you to jump on him in this round, all right? 
Let's get on that floor. Get the compress on it. Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Sugar Ray Leonard. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. A nice crisp hook after a fine defensive effort. He just missed that shot up top. Very nice job landing that counter punch. Getting away from one that was coming at him. Listen, he's still being highly competitive, even though you would have to think, if you're judging this fight at all, that he's way behind. Does that give him hope that still there's a chance that he can score the knockout and get this win? Yeah, because his attitude is still there. He hasn't given up on himself. And as long as you haven't given up on yourself, you always have a chance where one punch can separate that guy from his consciousness. Good looking counter punch. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Very nice defensive guard there. Halfway through this round. Fine looking combination from him now. Well, that's the benefit of combination punching right there, Joe. The first couple missed, but the third, the fourth, they landed. Excellent counter punch by Hands of Stone. Oh, everybody will tell you, you can't get away with that. What a big, wide-sweeping whiff that was. Well, you can get away with it if the guy doesn't want to throw back, but if this guy wants to start throwing back, then you're not getting away with it. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. This round comes to an end here. Joe Tessitore sitting ringside as always with Teddy Atlas. Love coming to this fight venue. We always have a great time when we come to town with the exception of having to pay the bill for our entire crew on the night before when they take us out to a steak dinner. Yeah, you know, they remind me of fighters a little bit. You know, the fighters that we see that have very, yeah, you know, every once in a while, very short arms. <laughs> you know? They these, do! <laughs> they, these guys were They don't real. have the reach. No, they, they don't. They can't reach for the wallet. No, they don't. And I tell you, they would be great on the inside. Really great. I wish I could put them on the inside in the kitchen where I didn't have to take care of them at the table. But great guys. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Blocks that punch. A nice block by Hands of Stone.
Fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Getting him into the place he wants to. That's against the ropes. Get rid of that one. <laughs> 60 seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. Now, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. What a good counter punch by Hands of Stone. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. The swelling is nothing. Just focus on the fight. We'll take care of the fight. Get on that now. The action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. He just missed that shot up top. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Good defensive skill. Excellent counter punch by Hands of Stone. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. There he goes with the right hand again. Unable to land that shot. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Blocks the head shot. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Sugar Ray Leonard's favorite punch is the jab. And tonight, he's loving it. Well, the jab is the table setter, Joe, and he set a beautiful table tonight. Napkin on the left, you know, small fork on the left. 
Knife on the right, and the food right in the middle. And he's eating all you take, night. You taking some English etiquette classes? <laughs> you getting hungry? Nice block. So the round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas sitting with you ringside. I know you had a very busy week before you flew here out to broadcast this fight, doing your charitable contributions back in Staten Island with the Dr. Theodore Atlas Foundation. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Joe. We did well. We had our dinner, our yearly dinner, where we're able to raise money to help people that are in need, people that have nowhere else to go for help, whether it's a mother that can't pay the cancer treatment for a seven-year-old daughter and we're able to pick up that insurance but the thing that I want to take a second to thank everybody for is that it's a collective effort it's all the people that allow us the resources to go out there and help those people that is it's it over. this fight over. is over That's it. Sugar Ray Leonard's got himself a TKO win the ref has waved it off your winner Sugar Ray Leonard is your winner by TKO. And a guy that I want to see more of. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.